Hi, I'm Judy Maxwell from the Study and Learning Centre at RMIT University and I'm going to talk about structuring your thesis literature review. There are many ways of structuring literature reviews. Some theses have more than one lit review chapter, others have just a few pages as part of the thesis introduction, and others have the lit review in segments throughout the thesis. This information is a general guide only. Remember to always check with your supervisors. This is the first of a four-part module on structuring your literature review. The objectives of this module are to understand the overall structure of a lit review and to be able to structure the introduction to a lit review. Let's have a look at the overall structure. The most important thing about writing a lit review is to plan it so that it shows the relationship of the relevant literature to your study clearly and logically. The lit review must be read as an integrated part of the story of your research, as you can see in this diagram. Your research story begins with the research question or questions. We also need to identify what's already known about this how you found answers, what the answers are, and finally, what the answers mean. As with all academic writing, there needs to be an introduction, a body, and a conclusion or summary. In general, most literature reviews begin broadly and narrow down the focus. We start by giving the context, narrowing it down to identify the gap in the literature where your study fits, this is then summarised and once again explicitly related to your research topic. Now let's talk about the introduction to your lit review. So what is an introduction? This needs to define the context within which your study sits very clearly through the general literature. This is where you can point out major gaps, overall trends or prevalent themes, and mention any major areas of dissent or controversy. But it needs to be done in a general way, so it's not repeated in the body. Remember, you're just introducing the reader to the relevant literature. Also, don't forget to let the reader know some of the main areas you'll discuss in the body of the lit review. And you might also want to mention the scope. That is, what you will and what you won't cover. Here's an example of the introduction to a lit review. The research topic is contesting the culture of the doctoral degree. See how it gives the context in a general way. Becomes a little more specific here and here. These sections hint at some gaps in understanding and we can assume they will be addressed more fully in the body. The last paragraph briefly outlines the body of the lit review. You can see here how the research topic has been brought in to remind the reader of the central focus of the lit review. Here the scope of the lit review is identified as being mainly focused on Australian doctoral programs.